Can you say hi? Hi! Hey friends, good morning. Today is a very special day because we are testing out our camera. I decided when I woke up this morning I was going to conquer it. It's very intimidating using a vlog style camera. So I hope you like the quality versus my phone, which is a lot of the time what I use. We are making some breakfast here. I'm just giving the kids some fried eggs. I'm having my coffee, and then we are going to be playing outside. We're going to take you along throughout our day. We're going to do some decorating. We have to go to the store, and we have so much cooking to do, so come along with us. What do you see, bud? What do you see? Oh, it's a, it, oh, it's a claw. A squirrel? What's he doing out there? Oh, it's a claw. What's he doing? Uh, Del, will you stay put? Um, Ooh. my salad. I got the spinach and arugula mix from Sprouts. I don't know if you saw that haul. Tomato in there, salt, pepper, croutons, hemp seeds, and I always like to do fresh herbs. Um, so I just did some chives and I did some basil and homemade seeds are I say that all the time. I'm sure you know what's in it by now. Um, and then I'm gonna either top it with potatoes or dip my potatoes in some honey mustard. Well, it's maple mustard, but that's okay. I'll show you how it all goes together. I'm gonna make some french fries for breakfast uh, and I'm gonna have a salad with it. But I just baked these potatoes early in the week, probably like four or five of them. I don't know if I can eat all of this, but I baked them and now I put some olive oil on there. I'm gonna do salt, pepper, and garlic, maybe a little dill. Pop them in at 425 for around 20 minutes and then I'm gonna make up my salad. But this is super filling and really, really tasty. I have some Japanese sweet potatoes in there too, which makes um, a nice little different texture and flavor when I'm using regular potatoes. I will show you how it comes out. Drift in the deep space So brave and so stupid Just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this Until we couldn't do it Each and every high Every night with you You and me so clueless We were just broken Shattered Singing along to nothing Matters Straight around Hey everyone, we just got back from Walmart. I'm gonna show you my little mini haul here. We got some food, some decor, and some DIY things. So let me get you turned around here and show you what we got. 
I got some good deals, honestly, and it's super busy in there, so I really don't like to film and then have the kids with me, and it just, it's an added responsibility, and I just already, it's tough with both toddlers in the store, so I want all eyes on deck there uh, when it comes to that, so that's generally why I don't film, but um, Walmart is the cheapest spot for me right now, and I'm going to turn you around and show you what I got. All right, we got some frozen peas and carrots, frozen broccoli and cauliflower. I'm doing a $10 meal challenge. It might be after or before you see this video. So some of that is included in here. We have some unbleached all-purpose flour. We have onion. Over here, we have dollar bread. Day-old bread wasn't there. It was such a bummer, but you could get this for 50 cents if you wanted. Um, we got these shells for the challenge. These are 33 cents. Some are 27 um, the stars were 27, but I already used that in a challenge, so I'm using that pasta. I have some regular sausage and turkey sausage, $1.72 for the turkey sausage, so I think that's a really good deal if you're going to go on the cheap, go for chicken or sausage, and then over here, or no meat at all, but, um, and then over here, whole milk, I got some apple juice for the kids, we have some green beans, tomato basil sauce, we have ricotta cheese, regular cheese, a tiny thing of eggs for the challenge. I have these here. I'm making just like soups and little things um, to bring in as a donation for some of the families at school. And I needed just something quick that they could have and not have to give back to me. And then I saw these impressed nails. I haven't been buying nails lately, as you can tell, but I wanted to start again. I thought they were so cute. I'm not really into like the typical Christmas nails, but these I thought were pretty beautiful. They have pink in there and a moon. I love moons on just about everything. Some snowflakes. I thought they were cute. Then I got a new brow pencil. This is the brand that I use, the Revlon, and it's blonde. And then lastly, I got some fishing line. Uh, the kids are making their medallions this week. We have second and fourth grade doing it. So at 700 yards, it should be enough for everybody. And then before Delilah takes these, I got a little bottle brush. Um, these are 86 cents and some were a dollar. And then we got some garland and I'm super excited. We found some wall ledges. We are gonna just do a double and put it right here. And I will show you how that comes together. And then I got this Merry Christmas bag. I'm actually just going to cut the bag in half and there's a double one um, and I have some old picture frames so I was gonna give one to a friend and then do the rest of it here. Oh, a bottle brush tree. Uh, but I thought that would be a cute little centerpiece for right here or maybe over on this wall over there. But yeah, not sure yet. I will show you when I get that all together. So here is all you're gonna need for this DIY. I just have an old picture frame here and I have the bag. Like I said, it's two-sided so you could use the other side for another project. So I'm just going to measure this out here and then cut out my square. Uh, or a rectangle. Um, I do have some E6000, not my favorite type of glue. The chemicals just worry me a bit, but that's all I have. And then I have some scissors and I have my screwdriver because this is hanging the wrong way and I am just going to be leaning it up against the wall ledge, but I still wanted there to to be a way for it to be secured to the wall so i'm just going to take it and unscrew it and screw it to the other side and now i'm just taking my e6000 all i do is press it down onto the picture frame and then i'm going to let it dry overnight so you will be seeing this tomorrow we are going to try and get these wall ledges up all i did was take the photos down that were up on the wall and i ended up just kind of like wiping down any spots i filled in the nail holes and then we started to put the ledge up, but we don't have a stud finder and we just felt more comfortable using a stud finder. So um, you will see the finished product eventually, probably sometime this week.
We have a ridiculous amount of pumpkin seeds, so we are making some toasted pepitas for tonight's dinner, and then I'm going to save the rest of it to snack on throughout the week. So I have a little bit of olive oil here. I have these dried seeds. They've been drying for like two days or so. I have salt and pepper. I'm going to roast them at 400 for around 10 minutes, but make sure you watch them. They do tend to pop. That is why I have some foil underneath the bottom of my oven, but these are super tasty in this stuffed pepper soup. Unfortunately, I am not the best with this camera yet, so the footage of me making it is lost, but I will tell you what's in it and I will type it down below. It's my dad's recipe, adapted of course, so I have some corn in there, I have black beans, but you could use ground beef as your protein, that's what he uses. I have some rotel, some quinoa, I also have some bell pepper and onion, cumin, salt and pepper, a little bit of chili powder, onion powder, and some fresh garlic. So I'm just going to put it in a bowl here and top it with some cheddar shreds. I like the Miyoko's brand. And then I'm going to put some sour cream in there. I believe it is, yeah, it's the Kite Hill. And then top it with some of those toasted pepitas. And here is the final product. Like I said, I only got photos, but the kids really, really love this. Well, one of them did. Do you like it? Do you want more? Can you say more, please? Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. Some of us like it. My bite. Your bite? Mm. My bite. <laughs> okay, Wilder's turn. No. Come here. Mm. Deli likes it. No. Oh. And that is going to do it, my friends. I cleaned up the kitchen, sat and relaxed, and just took the time to take in this beautiful sunset. We will see you tomorrow for another vlog. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative. Bye, y'all.